in June of 1963 at our annual Conference of Mayors, President Kennedy came to Honolulu with a special message and said these words, I am here in short to discuss with you a problem which is not local but national, not northern or southern, eastern or western, but a national problem, a national challenge. And I am talking about the problem of race relations. But in the last analysis, what happens in Birmingham or Chicago or Los Angeles or Atlanta depends in large measure upon the leadership in those communities. On your return home from this conference, you can set an example in your communities to which the timid can rally and which those clinging to the past cannot ignore. With those words, President John Kennedy put civil rights on the agenda of the United States Conference of Mayors and the nation. The Conference of Mayors had been mostly silent on this issue until then. But at the prodding of the young president, the assembled mayors adopted a resolution that endorsed a series of policy actions designed to help move the country toward racial equality. President Kennedy returned to Washington immediately after he spoke to the mayors, and he made his first presidential civil rights address to the nation. Five months later, President Kennedy was assassinated. Taking up President Kennedy's challenge, the mayors collectively began to take an active role in pushing for civil rights. The conference joined in coalitions to push for the Voting Rights Act, affirmative action, and other social programs. The conference undertook a 10-year leadership role in the implementation of civil rights at the local level. In 1964, testifying for the conference of mayors, there was a white Southerner, Mayor Ivan Allen of Atlanta, expressing support of the Public Accommodations Act. In 1967, black mayors were elected in cities, Carl Stokes in Cleveland and Richard Hatcher in Gary. Black mayors were welcome into our leadership, and in 1976, Ken Gibson of Newark became our first black president. Our current president, Trenton Mayor Doug Palmer, follows in that tradition, and in fact, he and I were president a couple of months ago in Selma as we commemorated the 40th anniversary of Bloody Sunday in Selma, Alabama. The civil rights issue placed the conference at the head of an urban alliance. The conference's championship of civil rights continues today.